These days, everyone is searching for the best business ecosystem in order to run their business operations. And the truth is that there are so many out there and they each have their pros and cons. So most people are gonna end up using two or more. It's really important to understand how you can get systems to talk to each other. So today, we are targeting Microsoft Teams, which is one of the most popular systems out there, and the Zoho ecosystem. You may not have heard of or seen Zoho a lot, but it's growing rapidly and ultimately brings such incredible power to your business. When you're working in multiple different ecosystems, there can be a lot of integration headaches. Anybody that has done this, even for a couple of days, knows those headaches can run deep. But there's also some huge benefits. So when you work with Zoho, you're getting a best-in-class CRM, truly the gold standard. You're getting user-friendly analytics. And importantly, when they're user-friendly, they will actually be used, which is a huge value add for a lot of businesses. And you get really strong SME financial tools. And not to mention, it's a very great price point. Everybody knows what Microsoft brings. You get industry standard email, calendaring, office productivity, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, all the applications that people know and love, but you also get outstanding contextual communication in the form of Microsoft Teams. And that application is just a blockbuster for them. Both of these ecosystems are growing tremendously, so it's important to get to know one of them. But when you're working in multiple ecosystems, and sometimes even in the same ecosystem, you get app fatigue. There is just too many apps. So in a perfect world, you may have 10, 12 different apps, and people have to learn them individually. They have to figure out how to find them. Then you have single sign-on issues. It's a mess. But this is the stack that we see most commonly in a lot of organizations. So let's start going from the left to the right here and just go through each one of these. The first one we've got is Microsoft Teams. This is a great chat and collaboration tool. It's great for office productivity because you can run all of the Microsoft Office apps inside of Teams, and it also works incredibly well for file share and file permissioning. Important to system administrators, it's also very easy to lock down various privacy settings, file permissions, exfiltration risks, everything you would know and expect from Microsoft. Now with Zoho, you get these other tools that we find virtually every business using Zoho implement in one way, shape, or form. So of course there's Zoho CRM. It offers awesome sales productivity, work tracking, account management, communications. It is a tremendous tool. Then there's Zoho Books. If you're using QuickBooks or another accounting platform, give Zoho Books a look. It is a tremendous tool for general accounting, expense management, ARAP. You can even build really bespoke financial dashboards. Projects is enterprise-grade project management software that also does great client collaboration and, importantly, time tracking and job costing. Finally, there's Zoho Desk, which is a great help desk piece of software. If you're familiar with Zendesk, it's a very similar tool. With that being said, all of these tools present a lot of headaches because you have to go from app to app in order to switch context and get things done. Let's see how specifically Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Power Automate can make that a lot easier. Let's get down to business. This is Microsoft Teams, as many of you probably know. We have a team called Snozzles Nozzles with a user by the name of Bill Miller. Now, Bill has already set this account up with a couple of things that are pretty much out of the box for Microsoft Teams, and that is that we have the Files tab up at the top. As you can see, a plug for Zoho Projects was implemented here. And as you'll see, this allows you to immediately be able to toggle to a Zoho Projects Kanban view and see everything about our Zoho project right inside of the Teams interface. Already pretty darn powerful, because we don't have to open up two tabs in a web browser and manage logins and all of those sorts of crazy things. But we're using a lot of applications. We're also using CRM and Books and Desk, and all of those need to be able to have the same integrated capabilities. But you run into a problem there, and the problem is pretty simple. In order to get all of this to work, you have so much integration overhead. You have to create the team and MS Teams. You have to invite users. You have to create a Zoho CRM account for your customer, as well as a Zoho Projects account. 
you have to create the project, then you have to create a Zoho Books account, then you have to integrate all of those things together. And last but not least, you got to add all of those tabs inside of Teams. This is a nearly impossible task to do at scale. And this is where the power of Microsoft Power Automate comes into play. Because what it will help you do is integrate all of these steps into one quick automation and actually do a lot of work that a lot of people don't realize can be done automatically. So let me give you a demo of that. And just as a warning, this isn't a tutorial video. I'm not going to show you how to program, but I certainly will show you how each of the steps are performed inside of Power Automate. You see here, I've created this form that's attached to a Power Automate script in the back end, and it has all of the basic information you would need for setting up a new client account using both Microsoft and Zoho. You've got project name, account name, account contact, account email, all the information that you would need to set up CRM and projects and Zoho books and a team as well. So as soon as I click submit here, it's actually firing off a Power Automate script on the back end. Let's show you what that looks like here as we switch over to the other screen. This is the actual run that's happening right now. You can see a history down below and you can see the one from a moment ago pulling up. Each step here is represented by a check mark when it's completed. It's capturing all that information. You'll see that it's literally stepping through each one of these processes of creating an account, creating a team, and creating a channel inside of Teams. Now it's inserting web tabs for Microsoft Teams. All of the stuff that you would have to do manually is susceptible to a lot of human error. But importantly, you could never do this consistently at scale, particularly if you're an organization with more than a handful of clients. This type of a script may need to be run many, many times per day. And it saves just a tremendous amount of time from somebody manually having to do it each time. So that was really quick. It may have looked like a magic trick. But ultimately, that script went through each one of these steps for us automatically all just by getting the information that was in that form. So let's take a look at what happened. If we look at Teams, you'll see there's our new team that has been set up from that Power Automate script. And you'll see that we've created another channel inside of that team that has all of the tabs for each of those applications. So if we start with account information, it's not just going to pull up Zoho CRM, it's going to pull up that brand new customer record we created inside of CRM. So very contextual. We're inside of that client's team, and now we're looking at that client's record in CRM. This goes the same for Zoho Books. That client that was just created inside of Zoho Books, we're now seeing their account right inside of their Microsoft team. And the same with Zoho Projects. Importantly, not only has a client account been set up for Zoho Projects, but we have also set up a brand new project using the project template that we had selected as part of our script. So if you see, we're going to refresh the web versions of these applications. You will be able to see that not only have those accounts been created exactly as we said, but the web version and clicking from tab to tab mirrors exactly what is inside of Microsoft Teams. So it's always pretty neat to see that it is the same experience. It's just taken out of context now, because when you have things inside of a Microsoft team, of course, you have all of the collaborative features that Teams provides in addition to all of the strengths that Zoho provides. Certainly hope this has been a helpful video to see some of the possibilities of working in two platform-based ecosystems. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time. We're a Zoho Premium Partner and a Microsoft Gold Partner. We have over 3,000 public, unfiltered, and positive reviews. We're 100% based out of the United States and have worked in just about every vertical. So if we can be of any assistance to you or show you how to automate your own business processes using Microsoft Power Automate, please contact us. Thanks so much.